Hey everyone, I'm back. Been a while, been a few weeks since our last uh, camping trip. But uh, we've been working on these kayaks. Got mine today, I'm really stoked. Um, pulling all the screws out for all the handles and tracks and everything and gonna seal them up. I bought some, uh, some really, really good sealer. The best I could find, actually. And, uh, so yeah, it's going to be an ongoing process. Adrian's got his about done. He's got his fish finder and pole rod holder and his batteries are in there for his lights. He's working on his lights, I think, next. Uh, and his anchor. We bought anchor rope, which some super duty heavy uh, 550 cord. Like, really heavy. I used stuff I used for my ridge line. And, uh, so yeah, I might take you along on this little little adventure on working on the kayak. And, uh, it's a 12 foot pro angler. Uh, stand up, sit on top of the adjustable chair. You're gonna be really comfortable. And uh, I probably won't be doing too too much standing up on it because I'm not the most graceful thing on my feet. But yeah, just come along, check it out, see what you think. And, uh, yeah, I'll get to it. Okay, first what I did is, uh, I did my track over here, which you probably can't see, but now I'm going to work on this rod holder. I took the screws out. What I'm going to do is, I'm going to put a, a bead on each one of these holes that, uh, that these screws go into. And I'm also going to put a bead around this hole because there's no sealant. You got to watch on all these kayaks. I don't even care if you you spend a thousand bucks or five and a quarter like I did on this one. It doesn't matter. They they don't seal them up really good. I guess maybe you spend fifteen hundred, a couple grand, which is crazy on a on a kayak. Maybe they were they're sealed better, but I don't see this happening on this one. So I'm just going to take this uh, Lexel, it's uh, an, elast an elastic sealant for just about anything you want to do. And I'm just going to put a little dab and cover this hole like that. A little bit on each hole. And I'm going to do this on everything, everything I pull off here. All the carry handles, the rod holders. And then I may do some around the door, so it's got two different storage racks, or storage compartments. I'm trying to do as cool of a job as I can. Now I'll just take in... Uh, Check it out. And I could use a little more on this one. You're not going to see the stuff because it's going to be covered and it's going to be sealed. So you might as well dope it up as long as you ain't going to be able to see it and it's going to look nice. Slide this back in, put it in place. You also got to remember not to try to over tighten these things because they will strip the hole out. And then you got to go hardware, buy some more stainless screws. And I like to put them all in just a little bit so I get it perfectly lined up how it should be. I don't want to use, don't use a drill or a driver cordless or anything like that because you really want to feel this when you're when you're putting these screws in you don't want to over like I said you don't want to over tighten them you just want to snug them up and just kind of do a staggered pattern You 
You snug up pretty good. There, tune to zoom. All set. So I'm going to repeat that on everything else. <clears throat> it's got a lot of I mean, it's got them all over the place. You got, you got one there. You got, you got a, your tracks, your handles, some stuff back there. Uh, there's my new vest I got, uh, Coast Guard approved. You got your handle over there, your track over there. You got your foot, adjustable foot pegs. Um, you got some more up here, another handle. You got a drain up there, which is cool. Uh, one in the rear also. So yeah, it's uh, just take your time and uh, do a little bit at a time, you know. So, all right, I will get back with you in a little while. Okay, on these side handles, I probably can't see it very well, but I really don't have nowhere to put the camera. It's a kayak so wide. After you put the silicone on it, these have got brass inserts on them. The handles do, which is nice. Um, before you crank them down, you need a, a big screwdriver, a little pry bar. And what this will do is you, there's like a little gap all the way around it, like an indentation. When you're tightening this down, you put that in there. Otherwise, it's going to turn and twist and this is going to be cockeyed it won't be straight because you can't hold it and tighten it with your hand so same on this side see how them move so you put this in there something wide you don't have to use a pry bar or a screwdriver but just something wide that's stout and you get it right where you want it and then you snug it down so now they're nice and tight and they're straight and they look good Perfect. Just a little tip to help you out. Now onto the rail. All right. Just a little overview here. I got all the screw holes, all the brackets. Um, what I like about this one, you got to excuse the traffic, man. The road's like 50 feet away, and they scream by here from the stop sign. They think it's an eighth mile drag. Anyway, what I like, it's got the bungees. Um, take this off. It's got your adjustable seats with the, with the seat with the straps. You can put it wherever you want it. It's a kickback, whatever. Um, this is the low position. You can bring it up. Put it in the higher position. So it's really going to be nice for moving around different positions, not being all stiff and getting all uncomfortable, you know, cramped up. But it's got a lot of deals to it. I'm gonna let me show you a few more things. Whoop. See, that's why I was just gonna say, let me show you a few things off the tripod. Okay, it's got it's got these two uh, storage units. One in the front. Pretty roomy. Got like a little Mickey Mouse dry bag thing but it's all right for throwing stuff in you want to get to right away and then it's all open down there and of course there's some drill shavings from the factory I got a vacuum up yet but yeah it's gonna be nice I'm gonna get some 10 liter bags that'll fit down in there good and I'm gonna rig up uh, under here through one of these screw holes I'm gonna use a eyelid with a threaded nut and countersink it in here and then I can use little mini S beaners with uh, like bank line hooked to each one of my bags so I can snap it on there and when I need the stuff I can grab that and pull it out that way I can slide it back in there a little ways and not have to worry about not being able to retrieve it and uh, that's pretty cool it's got the scuffer plugs it's got um, got one here one across and then there's uh, a couple under the seat also with this seat 
you can loosen, so I can do this one handed, you can loosen them up, the straps, for transport. And it's got this bungee on the back, right there. And then you can take your, I put an S-bean around it because it had a little plastic clip I feel that was going to fail. And you can snap that on there for, so when you're going down the road. And then, when you're ready to fish, you just take these straps, give them a tug, get the seat where you want, of course, I'm back on both sides, and then put it back down in the mount where you want it. And then back here, there's another storage. It's got tons of storage. I think I'm going to put my battery up front for my uh, fish finder and for my lights for at night. But again, the same sort of deal. Oh, it's got my <clears throat> rod holder. It's not the best. I got to get some Yak Attack gear for this thing, that's for sure. And another big open space for storage. So, yeah, there's there's a decent amount of storage in it. I got some, oh, there's the scuffer plugs that come with it. So... Yeah, pretty cool, man. I'm probably gonna ride my cooler or my cooler up here and my dry bag in the front. Try to balance my weight out because you got a lot of room back here for more stuff. Um, drain plug, got one in the front. Another good handle. Like I said, I got all all these all silicone now. Everything's done. Even got a little grab handle to help you stand up. A little measuring tape on it. I gotta read this. Michigan Fishing Guide 2019, so don't get a ticket. This is some of that bank line or paracord. I've never seen it before, but believe it or not, you get it at Wally World and it was like eight bucks. And this stuff is like a third thicker than standard 557 strand cord. It is really, really tough, and I swear by it. Um, Adrian and I both actually have some for our uh, ridge lines. And this is 50 feet, and this is what we're going to use for uh, anchors. If you can see on Adrian's right there, along the side, he's got an anchor trolley. And i got to get me an anchor trolley yet. And i got to put a paddle holder on the side. These, these here, they give you that come with it. They're okay, but I think they're a little Mickey Mouse myself. They don't hold the paddle super tight. And yeah, I'm gonna get the regular mount for it. Matter of fact, I got one. I got one here somewhere. Yeah, right here. This is what I'm gonna put on it for uh, for the paddle holder. He's got one on the other side of his. It works really well. Snaps in really nice. So I'll put that on tomorrow. We're gonna come out here. It's supposed to rain. There's Rocky running his mouth out there. Can't help himself. Little turd like a little kid love him though he's a good dog oh yeah floor dude I got my anchor I gotta redo it I'm gonna take that tape off it take the tape off it and redo it um, yeah camouflaged it see this paracord's just really flimsy it's just not not the same man it's not this I had two of these they were from, uh, if anybody recognizes them, they're from a snowshoe plow. They're or a snow plow. They're a snowshoe for the bottom of the plow. So you can adjust the height so you don't dig up the dirt. Just primed them and scuffed them up, cleaned them with the, with the angle grinder. And about uh, four pounds, three and a half pounds. So we both got homemade anchors. So that's going to be... Probably, maybe I'll do that in part two. This will be part one. Part two, I'm going to do my anchor and then maybe do my uh, paddle holder. And then uh, I'm going to have to wait for the fish finder and stuff. That's going to be a little bit. Maybe by fall. I don't know. Adrian's got one on his, so just follow the leader, right? <laughs> he can point me in the right direction. we got some two-way radios, too, so... If he's on one side of the lake or, you know, a couple hundred yards away, you don't have to scream. You just talk under a two-way. So, yeah. So it's a beautiful day, man. I'm telling you what. Beautiful day. Church across the street. 
Got the kids playing soccer. Boy, I don't know how them parents do it, man. They're out there like every night practicing. I can see why they complain about sports. Got the old Danger Ranger. She held the canoe pretty good. Held it nice in the back. So I had to take my topper off because it was too hard to climb back in there and strap it down. And yeah, it was a wasn't fun. So anyway, there you go, folks. I'm no pro, but I kind of had the right idea, I think, and uh, I think it's going to make it a lot more watertight. Um, yeah, I should be good to go. Oh, Rocky wants some attention. Hold on. Hold on. Just a second. Little buddy, what's the matter? What's the matter, Rock? Don't be showing your butt at everybody. Turn around. Come here. Come here, silly boy. Just got the lawn mowed, it's supposed to rain again. Got the yard looking good. I did down my chores before uh, I worked on the kayak. So, okay Rocky, Rocky, say goodbye. See you later folks. Peace out, God bless.